Hello everybody. Welcome to Instrumentation Training Channel. In today's video, I am going to discuss regarding fundamentals of process control. So first we will see what is a process control is. In almost all industrial process applications, control of process variables is critical to the safe and efficient operation of the process. The most common variables controlled are pressure, level, temperature and flow. Even though there are many different methods used to control these processes, this monitoring and control is generically called process control. Now we will see what are control types. The type of control needed to maintain a process is dependent upon the type of the process involved. Each process has its unique set of characteristics depending upon the kind of the process and the physical components that make it up. There are two broad categories of processes, self-regulated process and non-self-regulated process. We will see what is a self-regulating process is. Self-regulating process are processes that are inherently self-regulating. Self-regulated processes have built-in feedback characteristics that cause the process to tend towards self-regulation. We will see an example. An example of self-regulating process is a tank of water with an input of water entering the tank and an output of water leaving the tank. Let's say the water level in the tank is a constant at 10 inches. Water enters the tank at a rate of 20 gallons per minute and leaves the tank at a rate of 20 gallons per minute. As long as this balance is maintained, water level in the tank will remain constant at 10 inches. What happens if the outlet is opened at 1 by 8th of a turn and water leaving the tank changes to a rate of 25 gallons per minute? Since this is self-regulating process, the level will actually stabilize at a new position and maintain that position. Flow out of the tank is proportional to the square root of the differential pressure across the output wall. As level decreases, the differential pressure will also decrease, causing the rate of drainage to decrease. At some point, the drainage rate will once again equal the fill rate and the tank will reach a new equilibrium point. Now, in self-regulating process, we have time constant. Every self-regulating process has a time constant associated with it. The time constant is the amount of time it takes the process to change 63.2% of the final value of the process. In this example, the process changes by 10%. The time it takes to change 6.32 inches means 63.2% of 10 inches is the time constant. It takes five time constants in order for the process to complete the total change. Now we will see process gain. <clears throat> the time constant is affected by the capacity of the process and the process resistance to change. The larger the process capacity, the longer the time constant and the more resistive elements in the process, the longer the time constant. Now we will see what is a dead time. Dead time by definition is the time difference between when a change occurs in a process and when the change is detected. Dead time exists in all processes and is a factor in control loop control which must be addressed when turning the loop. Now we will see what is non-self-regulating process is. A non-self-regulating process is one where the process do not tend towards self-regulation. This process have no self-regulating feedback characteristics and will tend towards being unstable if not controlled externally. We will see an example. For example, the initial scenario which we seen, the water level in the tank is constant at 10 inches. Water enters and leaves the tank at a rate of 20 gallons per minute. In this process, instead of having a discharge valve on the tank, a positive displacement pump is used to drain the water. As long as the balance is maintained, water level in the tank will remain constant at 10 inches. If we increase the discharge rate of the positive displacement pump to 25 gallons per minute, see what will happen. Initially, as with the self-regulating process shown before, we are removing 5 more gallons per minute from the tank than we are putting in the tank. This caused the level to drop. However, unlike the self-regulating process, this drop in the level does not affect the flow of, flow out of the tank. A positive displacement pump will discharge a set flow rate regardless of the head pressure. The pump will continue to discharge at a rate of 25 gallons per minute until the tank is completely empty. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe and also don't forget to click on bell icon for getting more interesting updates.